Now, this morning, when I woke up, I saw a tweet from Ubisoft Belgium, and it got me thinking. Are we closer to the next lot of news than we expected? Now, the last few weeks, I have to start off by saying thank you. The support has been insane. Both my videos on permadeath and the Watchtrix Games Guide did phenomenal, and I'm genuinely so pleased how well they turned out. Now, January has been the biggest month for news in a long time. In regards to Watch Dogs Legion, we saw the BBC go out to Ubisoft Studios and do something different. I don't think this has ever been done before and conduct an interview in mocap. And honestly, you saw my reaction on Twitter. I could do nothing but laugh in excitement at the idea of it. It was brilliant and I think a lot of people in the community have got a lot more faith in the game with seeing that. Likewise, Titan and Amazon updating their game guide info was a really, really big thing. It, it got a lot of people excited for what is to come. Now, back to the tweet. What could it mean? Could it suggest we're closer to a release date than we expected? No other Ubisoft pages have discussed this, and likewise, there seems to be nothing on the Instagram side at the time of recording this audio for the video, except it's now their pinned tweet. Could this have been a one-off, or just a simple nod to Brexit? Well, in less than a week, we see the Q3 sales report. This might give us an insight to where everything's up to. Previously, in the last report, they gave us some really interesting nods to the game, the initial Q1 doc discussing how Watch Dogs Legion had made an, a huge impression thanks to its innovative gameplay and winning more than 65 awards and nominations at E3. Likewise, 2019 and 2020's target update, we saw the news about the decision to push back the game release of Watch Dogs Legion to a later date. So these reports have been pretty good to us in regards to content and info, even if it's a little. And I think my predictions in regards to the Q3 talks next week will be either a rough idea of an initial release date and an update to the development process of the game and where they're up to. With the new date for Cyberpunk 27, I'm sure it's complicated for a release date. Obviously, you don't want to release early, then all your player base moves over to a new game, and you don't want to release too close to the release date and find yourself in a monopoly in regards to sales. I think it's a very interesting time, and only time itself will tell. Now, since making the initial video, it would seem a few more Ubisoft departments have popped their heads out of the sand. This includes Ubisoft Spain, Ubisoft Belgium on Instagram, and Ubisoft Canada. Now, this just can't be a Brexit joke. This, seriously, something, something's coming. And I think this is the beginning of the end. I think in the next few days, it's going to be very, very interesting. Now, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I feel this video was really short, but I just wanted to discuss the new tweet and some recent stuff going on in the Watch Dogs scene in regards to updates and news. I'm really, really interested to see if anything will come out of the Q3 report next week, and if there is, I'll be sure to let you guys know. As always, thank you, Good night.